Hi everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm on our product marketing team at Zapier. I wanted to give you an overview of a system built by Sean Kennedy, one of our amazing marketing ops managers. This system is a more scalable way to capture, format, and route advertising leads. If I share this system with you here, there's a couple things that you should notice. First is that it is broken up and made of a few feeder zaps that all funnel into one broader catch-all zap. And by the way, you're looking at a canvas here. Canvas is my favorite tool on Zapier, so if you haven't used it yet, I highly recommend you do. But back to the zap. Each of these is intentionally very simple. And then this catch-all zap is where all the hard work happens. This is better than the old system for a few reasons. One is that updates take minutes. Back to that scenario where we have a new property in HubSpot, we can just pop into this catch-all zap and just update one zap so that there's no risk of things falling through the cracks. It takes a few minutes, not a few hours. The second is that there's no duplication. We don't have to update the same step across 10, 15 zaps, which means that the risk of something going wrong decreases significantly. And finally, it's really easy to add new channels or campaigns because it is such a simple system and then all the logic and hard work is happening in this catch-all. TLDR, it saves us time. It helps us feel confident that leads aren't slipping through the cracks because we forgot to update something and it gets leads to our sales team and into nurtures much faster. Let me take you through the nitty gritty of how it works. Let's first dive into one of the individual zaps. So you can see here, when a new lead comes in from TikTok, this zap ends in a webhook. If you haven't used webhooks before, they are one of the most powerful tools on Zapier. They let you create systems in a way that you just can't using individual zaps. The other fantastic thing about webhooks is they are a common tool across many, many platforms. And so this would let you even capture things like content syndication leads, which can often send a webhook. When you send this webhook, you will set essentially a bunch of info that you want to pass from this initial lead generation step to the webhook. The webhook will then take the URL that you give it and it will send all this info to the URL. This app is started by a catch webhook. So the initial zap sends the webhook, this one catches it, and with it, it intakes all of that info, all those fields that I shared with you on that initial zap will be passed through to this zap. And then you can see a variety of paths here. These paths are essentially lead routing. They are based on a variety of channels and some of those properties that we pulled through as well, like company size or seniority. Those will set both the lead priority as well as which experience they go into. So if it's someone that is very qualified or maybe they're converting off of a ad that says contact sales, that will go to our sales team. Maybe if they're less qualified or they're converting off of an ad that says download or something else along those lines, then that will go into a drip sequence or another marketing experience. If I look at this one, which is LinkedIn lead route to sales, you can see lead source equals LinkedIn. That's one of those properties that we get right from that initial webhook. And then route to sales does not match. No, again, we're getting that from the webhook there. If we dive back into TikTok, you can see continue if lead source equals TikTok. And then we do some formatting here. There's a few reasons that you would want to format your lead. One of them is to create UTM. So often the ad channel will pass you the campaign, the source, et cetera, but it won't construct the UTM in the way that you need. Another example of where we use formatting is making sure that brackets align. So for example, the way that LinkedIn processes company sizes is slightly different than the way that we process company sizes. This is the way that LinkedIn handles company size on the left here. And we process company sizes from one to 49, 50 to 249, etc. This table takes what LinkedIn gives us and then it maps it to our standard company sizes to make sure that everything is consistent. The other thing to notice here is we lean really heavily on create form submission, HubSpot custom objects, and webhooks to interact with HubSpot. You can absolutely still use create contact or create deal. The reason we use those tools is they're just a little bit more customizable and we need to make sure that our data properties pull in in the specific way that we're looking for. If I was to build this system from scratch, here's what I would do. First, I would go in and I would set up my catch-alls app. And so go ahead and set up your webhook step, your HubSpot step, and then take a peek at what properties you need. Then I would go ahead and pick one channel. 
It doesn't matter which one you start with. It's often best to start with a lower volume one to make sure that everything is running smoothly from the get-go. So whether that's Meta, Google Ads, etc., pick your channel and end it in a webhook. Once you're sure that everything is working for one channel, then you can start to build out the customization and the logic and really tailor it for your lead routing and advertising process. You can start to build on those additional channels and ultimately get it to a place where it is capturing all of your advertising leads. A couple ways to make this system even more impactful. One is to think outside of advertising leads to capture all lead sources. Are there additional sources like traditional media, content syndication, G2, etc., that you can build in here to make sure that those leads are getting just as much attention as your advertising leads? And then final step is to roll this out to your team. One of the things I love about this system is that it's really easy for members of your team to build onto. And so if they have an advertising lead that they're responsible for, they can tie in and send leads to that same webhook so that everything is all in one place. And if you go on vacation, folks know how to troubleshoot, they know how to fix it. And it becomes a tool that your team can build on together, overall saving everyone time and decreasing your operational overhead. Get started for free 